guys, Shelby K here, and welcome back to my own year 2020 series on my YouTube channel. Today is day two, and today we are gonna be talking all about good habits that I think everyone should adopt for 2020. Now today, these are not going to be your typical habits that you think of like getting healthy or you know, making your bed every day or that, those kind of habits, but these are gonna be more behavioral and emotional habits that I think are gonna be very helpful in 2020. They are habits that I am going to be adopting myself this year, and so I thought I would share them with you guys. So before I get into the video, if you guys did not already know, I am doing this Own Your 2020 series where I'm going to be uploading every single day starting yesterday, the day after Christmas, up until New Year's Day, and they are gonna be all videos about getting your life together and getting organized to be the best that you can be going into 2020. So if you're not already subscribed, please be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell notification down below so that you know when I upload. Also be sure to check out my Instagram because I'm gonna be posting all kinds of things come the new year on that. I'm gonna be a little bit better about it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the habits that I'm going to be adopting in 2020. So the first habit that I am going to be implementing in 2020 and something that I feel like I really need to get better at because I feel like this is one of the big reasons I am going through the mental health issues that I have been going through for the last few months is to take breaks, to learn to take breaks. I think it is so important to have downtime and do things just for you, just because you want to do them, not because someone else is asking you to do them or because you feel like you should. I think it is so important to have something, a hobby or something like that, that gets you out of your head, gets you out of your normal routine and kind of let you just do what you want to do for the sake of doing it. So as for hobbies for myself, I've been into cosplay for several, several, several years and I have not cosplayed anything in the last probably two or three years. And so this year I really want to kind of get back into it because it is something that's just so fun for me and it's creating just for the sake of creating and for love of characters. So I really want to get back into cosplay this year. Also writing is a big hobby of mine. I absolutely love writing and again, it's creating just to create. Those are the two hobbies that I really want to get back into to, but I think hobbies are so important. As I said, something to just kind of get you out of your normal routine, something that you do just for you, just for the sake of doing it because you want to, not because you're expected to. Or, along with that, I think it's so important to just do stuff that isn't working, that doesn't have anything to do with work, whether it's going to the movies with your friends, just something that's gonna be fun where you get to spend time with the people you love, or even if you do it by yourself, take yourself to the movies, take yourself on a date. Do something that doesn't involve work of any kind. Just doing something that's gonna get you out of your normal routine, that's gonna get your mind off of you know, your work or whatever has been stressing you out, it's gonna be so important. And taking time for yourself is just so, so, so important. The second habit that I'm going to be adopting in 2020 is taking more responsibility for myself. Now there's two parts to this. The first is to just take responsibility for your actions. Stop trying to blame other people for your problems, stop trying to find excuses for why you can't do something or why something happened. Take responsibility for it. Say, okay, yep, I screwed up, that's my fault, and move on. Or, okay, yeah, you know, I'm in this really dark place and I am having a really hard time, but it's up to me to get myself out of it. So stop relying on other people, stop blaming other people, and let's actually take responsibility for ourselves. The second part of this is to actually stick to the plan that I've laid out to myself. Learn Learn to say no. One of the biggest obstacles that I have faced in achieving my goals in years past is that, yes, I set out a plan for myself, but because I am such a giving person and I just love spending time with people around me and taking care of everybody else, someone will ask me to go hang out or to do something for them and I will immediately drop everything. I will forget what I said I was going to do and I will go to them and do whatever that is. So that is something I really need to work on this year. That's something I'm actually working through with my therapist is saying no, setting boundaries for myself, and actually following through with the plans I set for myself, regardless of what other people are asking me to do. Habit number three that I'm going to be adopting in 2020 is to stop settling. If something doesn't feel right, if something doesn't make you feel fulfilled, or just something feels off, or it doesn't make you happy, don't do it, don't settle for it. That's kind of where I was at with my job, with the whole vet med thing. You know, I felt like I've 
been working for this for so long. This has been my life for so long. I just, I felt like I was stuck. I felt like it was too late for me to change jobs at this point. It had some very detrimental consequences on my mental health because of it. And it doesn't just, doesn't just go for that. It can be for anything in your life. If you're in a relationship that you just are questioning and you're just not really sure if it's what you want, you can't see yourself with that person forever. Maybe you're going to school and you're just not sure about your degree anymore and you're not sure if that's what you want to pursue or anything. It could be anything. If you don't feel right about it, if you don't feel 100% like, yes, this is it, this is what I'm gonna do, this I'm so happy about this, don't settle for it. Life is way too short to deal with mediocre experiences. You want to chase the things that make you feel alive. You want to chase the things that make you feel excited. And so don't settle just because you know, you feel it's too late to change or because it's comfortable or because you want to make sure you're going to be financially well off so you take that job that you know you're going to hate but it's going to pay a lot. Don't settle. It's going to weigh on you and your your life is just not going to be as happy and excited and fulfilled as it can be if you pursue the thing that you actually want to pursue. Habit number four that I'm going to be adopting in the new year is to find accountability. As I said, I have struggled in the past to actually achieve my goals and so this year I actually want to find some accountability, whether I tell someone what my goals are and have them check in on me regularly, ask for help, find someone or something, some way that is going to actually hold you accountable for achieving your goals. This New Year's series was a way for me to hold myself accountable because I'm putting it all over the place that I am posting every single day and I've told, you know, like my family and my boyfriend and my friends, like this is what I'm going to be doing. And so they're all excited and, you know, they're checking in on me. Hey, how's your series going? That kind of thing. So that was some, that was a form of accountability for me to actually do this goal that I had set for myself that I really honestly wasn't sure I was going to do because I've had goals like this in the past where I'm like, okay, I'm going to upload, you know, this many times in a week and then I don't do it. So fighting against accountability is very, very useful. You know, asking for help, there's no shame in it. Everyone needs help sometimes. So it is very useful to find someone who can help hold you accountable. And the fifth and final habit that I'm going to be adopting in 2020 and I feel like is so, so, so important for everyone to adopt in 2020 is to own yourself. I called this series Own Your 2020 for a reason because I think that 2020 should be the year that we are all just so confident and we just own ourselves. we own every room that we're in, we just go out into the world with 100% confidence and 100% like, yes, I've got this, I am capable, I am beautiful, I am strong, I can do this. In 2019, I doubted myself a lot and a lot of it had to do with my mental health and I felt like I just can't do this, I can't, I am mentally not well, I'm not able to do this, I just need to give up on my goals right now. And I do not want to feel like that in 2020 at all. I want to be 100% confident in my ability to achieve my goals. I want to be 100% confident in who I am. And I just want to own it. I want to own myself. I want to wear the clothes I want to wear. I want to style my hair how I want to wear it. I want to go for whatever goals come to, into my brain that I want to achieve. Just go at it without guilt, without embarrassment, just go at it 100% because it is something that I genuinely want. I just want to own myself, I want to own my life, and I want to be in control of my life. I don't want to let what anyone else thinks affect, you know, what's going on in my life. And that is what I'm going to do in 2020. And I think you guys need to do it too, because it's just gonna be so much more freeing and we're just gonna find that we are so much more happy. I know that sounds really cheesy, but that is like my big thing for 2020 is just be true to myself, be, you know, 100% confident in myself and my ability to do whatever it is that I want to do. Those are my habits that I'm going to be adopting in 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments below what are some other habits you guys are going to be adopting in 2020. As I said before, if you guys are not already subscribed, please be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell notification and also check out my Instagram. It is at shelby.t.k. As always, I love you guys so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.